Okay, sample problem 2-3. So we have the 500 Newton force is applied to the vertical pole as shown at A. Number 1, write F in terms of unit vectors I and J and identify both its vector and scalar components. Okay, well let's just do that. So we want to write it in terms of its x and y components, so f. So you can see we need this component here for the x, so um, oh, there we go. That's the theta. They confused me here. f cos theta. So, so it would be f sine of 30, right? Or if you get that angle of 60, then it's f cos of 60 times i and it's positive x and then you've got the negative component in the y direction so it's f sine of 60 or f cos of 30 okay so there we go that's straightforward pretty straightforward the scalar components are 250 and minus 433 and the vector components you need to include that i, that unit vector, j, i, and j. Okay, so what is 2? Now, this, is, this gets interesting because as I see this problem, this problem is we have a, a force. The force doesn't change. It's 500. It's pointing in the same direction. It's being applied at the same point. But we're looking at this force in different uh axes along different axes and I think that's the idea of this exercise so the first one we looked at it the same force how is that force represented in the x and y directions okay well that's that's how it's represented in x and y now what about so point two says okay do the same thing but look at it along x dash and y dash okay so decompose this force into these two axes now. Well, now you can see it's only got a component along the x dashed axis and nothing in the y dashed axis. So you've got f x dashed equal to 500, but the f y dashed is zero. Does that make sense? So in terms of i dashed and j dashed, You've, this is your force. F is 500 I dash Newton. So do you see, guys? It's exactly the same force, but we're looking at it in two different sets of axes. And in this set of axes, it's represented like this. So <clears throat> these will these vector force vectors will give you the, this 500, and this force vector will also give you 500. Okay. Now, it gets interesting. This last one is determine the scalar components of that same force, but now along the x and y dashed axes. So they look like this. Okay, there's x and there's y dashed. And my force is down like that. Okay, so now decompose this guy into its x and y. Again, all you need to do is use the parallelogram law. So there's my f. That's the same f we've been working with all along, but now we want to look at what, what components along these two axes will give me this, this force. Okay, so there's my x. There's my y dash. From the tip parallel to the one until it cuts the other one. There's my Fy dash from the tip parallel to that one until it cuts the other one and there's my Fx. So <clears throat> you can go through this. I'm not going to go through this. Use the sign the sign rule and you calculate your Fx and Fy. Um, but I hope you get the, the big picture. <clears throat> that we can take exactly the same force and decompose it into different, along different axes. And that, 
if we if it's along x and y dash then I need I need that magnitude plus that magnitude along those axes will give me that along these two axes I need that to give me that along those two axes I need those to give me the same force